Oh there, grumpy old fart here. Um, I wet my whistle a bit. And uh, shout out to my favorite race car driver. Let's go, Brandon. I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons and other such tabletop role-playing games for about 45 years. Uh, one of the staples of any tabletop role-playing game is the player character. A player character is a sheet of paper. It's a piece of paper. Uh, you, they, sometimes you have character sheets. Sometimes you do it on notebook paper, depending on what you do, what you would you prefer. <clears throat> and this care this piece of paper outlines your playing piece in the game. It is a fleshed out being appropriate to whatever game you're playing, and it has strengths and weaknesses and abilities that you can use in the game. In essence, in the game you can make your character do anything you want within the ability sets of that character. So if your character has a spell that lets him fly, or if your character has wings, you can fly. If your character can teleport, he can teleport. You see what I'm saying? It'll disappear here and appear over there, kind of thing. So, I'm just saying, that's the definition of a character in the game. Now, whenever you create a, a player character, you get to name said character. <clears throat> character names are limited only by players' imaginations. And oh boy, I have heard some doozies over the years. I've been playing this game for since 1976. I've been running it since 1979, 1980. Um, and it's not just Dungeons and Dragons, by the way. There's a plethora of games out there with, with and you got to make a character for each of them if you want to play it. That's, that's just the way it is. Uh, you you always get your 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 witty ones like Rothgar or Conan with a K, you know that kind of thing. And and those are pretty tame as far as that goes. <clears throat> I had one one guy who had a fighter named Bad Asicus. Um, yeah, um, over the years, there's been tons of them that, that are, that are out there, and I figured I'd share a few of those. Uh, I had a, uh, one of my best friends, his name is Matt Evans, he's a good guy, a real good guy, I haven't seen him in years. <clears throat> we were in high school, he had a character who had a magical sword, and the sword was named Bitchin. <laughs> uh, he had a, uh, somebody once had a fighter with martial arts abilities, and he had a specialty kick to the groin. And he named the character, I think he got it off of a comedy routine, Testicles. A character that kicks you in the groin named Testicles. Yeah. Uh, and Archer, in, in Lord of the Rings, they have Legolas. And in this, he named his, his archer Legolad. Uh, had a wizard named Zot, because he Zots everybody. Zot, you know. We had a, a guy had a thief. And he named this character Shuckin Jive. Yeah, Shuckin Jive. I guess he was a fan of Dukes of Hazard. I don't know. Uh, a pair of Drow Elf twins were given to me as player characters, and I played them for a short time, and then I've still got them in there somewhere. Uh, they were Drow Elves. They were twins named War Dog and Bitch Puppy. Yeah, they were they were pretty badass. Um, one guy had a cleric who he was a. a he was a fan of the Gladiator movie, and he was a military veteran, and he, he, he needed, we needed a cleric for the game, and we explained to him that clerics are badass, they can use armor and weapons and blah, 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 and they're the second best fighter types in the game, but they can also heal people. So he goes, oh, so I get to be the medic. And I was like, well, yeah, that's kind of what it is. And so he named his character, his, his cleric, Medicus Maximus. Um... <clears throat> my friend Randy has a half-orc fighter who used a spear, and as I recall, he used a spear, and he named the character Vlad after Vlad the Impaler, the originator of the uh, Dracula myth. Yeah, the, the, the folk, folk myth or whatever, the, the vampires, you know. And for those of you who don't know, Vlad the Impaler actually impaled people. He found, he, he, he had a, there was a big battle and he took his enemies and he impaled them on stakes out from big these big wooden poles out in front of his place. And uh, gee, the enemy didn't want to fight anymore. Kept him out for hundreds of years. Of course, having him have a bowl of blood of the enemy's blood there in a bowl and you know dipping bread in it and eating it while they negotiated didn't hurt none. Yeah, Vlad the Impaler was a badass. Uh, <clears throat> there was a uh, my friend Cheryl, Randy's wife, had a wizard named Fantasia. 
a female wizard named Fantasia. I had a I had a friend who uh, who was running a female barbarian, and he named her Barbie. Barbie the Barbarian. Um, <laughs> my, I have, a, I have a friend who, he's 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 a good guy. His name's his name's uh, uh, Mark, and he he played with us for about eight months, I think, and then he had to move away. He was military, and he had to he had to PCS out. And we needed somebody who was a thief in the group. We because our thief had had died and had made up a different character, so we didn't have a thief for the group. So rather than run a thief, he ra he uh, made up an assassin, which is, you know, very similar to a thief. It's a subclass of the thief in Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. But he he took the assassin part seriously. He named his character Yupei Islay. Yupei was his first name. Islay was his last name. Yupei Islay. Um. And then <clears throat> this guy who was one of the best players I know, his name was Roger. This guy, if he, I mean, he, he's right up there with Gerald Gingry, who, by the way, is the best gamer I know. Jerry knows more about your character than you do, and you're holding the page in front of you, reading it. And Jerry knows more. Well, Roger was something like that. He was in that, that category. And Roger had a barbarian named Flatulence Brownstain. I didn't name him. I'm just telling you. Uh, my friend Mark and his 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 friend, and I cannot remember his friend's name. They had uh, a different Mark, by the way. Uh, had a pair of, of fighters. They were half orcs. They were brothers named Groaning and Squealing, and their family name was Severe Grunt. So it was. Groaning and squealing, the severe Grunt Brothers. They they ran those characters so well. It was funny. Uh, I had another guy named George who ran a dwarven fighter named Gus Goatbane. I did not ask any questions about that. Uh, and I, I saved one of my favorites for last. Um... A friend of mine was running a, cl a cleric, and he wanted this name to be memorable. So, here we go. Brother Bocephus, the malicious minister of mayhem. That was his full name. And anytime anybody addressed him, they had to address him by his full name. That was the funny part. You had to remember that. The, people, the other players were writing that shit down so they could get it right. <sighs> and one of the funniest names out there. One of my players found a chart that can randomly... I, it may have came from a magazine. I don't remember which one. And one of my... He found this chart that can randomly determine a player's name, a player character's name, letter by letter. You roll a d6. Uh, one and two is a vowel. Three to five are consonants. And six means that's the end of the thing. So if you roll, you know... If you roll a six, the guy didn't have a name. If you roll, you know, right off the bat. But you can roll randomly for letters until you hit a six, and then that's the end of the character. Um, a, E, I, O, U, and Y was numbered 1 through 6. The consonants were numbered 1 through 20. And you got dice that appropriate to roll for all of that. And uh, it was just, you know, it was it was just a fun way to generate a character name. One of the most infamous characters that I ever played in my game, his name was, get this, Fuvujiakti. Spelled F-V-F-U-J-I-A-Q-D. Fuvujiakti. He was a barbarian who later became a king. So, yeah. Uh, what's in a name, right? The entire purpose of playing these games is to have fun. Part of the fun is creating a unique and colorful character to play in the game. And it, it is essentially your playing piece in the game. In Monopoly, they have the, the wheelbarrow and the race car and like that. The, the, the thimble, you know. In this, it, it's, it's this character. That's, that's your playing piece in the game. Naming this character is a big part of the fun as well. And really, in a magical world full of elves and wizards, who wants a fighter named Fred? You know. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.